Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting exponential equation today. We have 2 to the x plus 4 to the x plus 8 to the x equal to 155. And we need to find our x from this equation. On the first side, this equation looks real hard, difficult one, because we have all different bases. We have 2, 4, 8. We have a number on the right hand side. It's, it's not good for us. And we have three elements with power x. So it's not good as well because we have an exponent so it's it's every time it's hard to work with exponents but i want to show you a really good way how can we solve it if you look closely to our basis we have two four and eight it's this is really good numbers because we can easily write this four as two square and we can easily write this eight as two cube so let's start with this let's try to create the same basis so right here we have x equal to 155 and right here we have plus, we still have x right here, and we took to the x in the beginning. So we have this equation, we just write it in another way. And right now I want to show you the rule of interchange. This is a really good rule because it helps us a lot right here. So for example, we have a to the power x raised to the power y. Yeah, and we can easily write it as a to the power y raised to the power x. So we can easily change our, our powers, our exponent right here, and the result will be the same. Why can we do this? Because we can write it as a to the power x times y. This is a product, so we can easily write it as a to the power y times x. Doesn't matter, and y goes as, as, as a power. So this is really important, the, the most important rule in our case. Okay, we can easily swap this power 2 and x and 3 and x. Let's do this. We have 2 to the x plus 2 to the x squared and plus 2 to the x cube. Yeah, we can easily write it equal to 155. So we hope you understand this step. This is maybe the main difficulties in this problem. If you understand this step, let's go further. So firstly, we have the same elements, 2 to the x, 2 to the x, and 2 to the x. So we can easily write a substitution. Let this 2 to the x will be equal to, for example, t. Let's work with t at first. So we have t plus t square and plus t cube equal to 155. Okay, what we're going to do next? Let's change in order a little bit. We have t cube, we need to have t cube at first. So t cube, then t square, then t, and minus 155. 155 equal to zero. So as you can see, we have our, our cube equation. And we need to solve it. After solving this, we will easily find our answer because we had a substitution, so nothing hard for us. But I want to show you a really good tricky moment right here because if you look closely to this, to this expression on the left, we can easily see that t equal to five will be our factor because right here 125 plus 25 and plus 5 it will be 155 right here minus 155 equal to 0 so t equal to 5 is our factor and we can easily right now we can easily work with this because right now we can easily write this expression in another way take a look t cube i write at first and then instead of t square i write minus 5 t square and plus 6 t square and minus 30t, I write it, and plus 31t, and minus 155. Maybe a, a little bit fast for you, but right now I want to show you why I write this. Because if we go to this one, we will have only t square. And if we go to this one, we will have only our t. The same as right here. So nothing changed for us. I write it only in another way. And right now we have t equal to 5 is of a factor. So we can easily write as a result. If right here we can easily factor t square from these two elements. So we have t square and in parentheses t minus 5. This is why that is why I write this. Because right now we can easily factor t minus 5 from here. Let's go to the next. We have 6t square minus 30t. We can easily factor 6t and in parentheses we'll have 1t minus 5. So we have plus 6t and in parentheses t minus 5. And the last one, 31t minus 155, this is looks like plus 31, and in parentheses we will have t minus 5, equal to 0. 
So finally, we can easily factor this t minus 5. This is my approach. Of course, maybe a lot of students don't understand this step, but this is my approach. I want to show you. There are a lot of approaches. How can we solve this cube equation? This is my approach. I hope you understand this. And right now, t minus 5. And in second parentheses, t square plus 60 and plus 31. So t square plus 60 and plus 31 equal to 0. Okay? I hope you understand this step. So finally, we factor our problem. So we need to solve this. We have a product. So we will have t minus 5 equal to 0 and t equal to 5. This is our, our solution t equal to 5. And let's go to the second parentheses. So we have t squared plus 60 and plus 31 equal to 0. So we will have quadratic equation. Let's solve a real quick discriminant. What we will have? b squared minus 4ac, so 36 minus 124. We, of course, we square root. And if you look closely, this is negative 1. So right here we will have no real solution no real solution but but two complex complex roots two complex roots and t equal to 5 let's go to our substitution right here so 2 to the x equal to 5 classic log property log rule right here so everyone should know it 2 to the x equal to 5 so from here our x equal to log 5 over log, over log 2. This is our one and only, only answer. So this is our real root, real root, real root. This is our complex roots. Of course, there are a lot of approaches. How can you solve it? Of course, maybe you find another method. How can you solve it real quick? This is my approach. What about you? Write your question in comment, write your suggestion in comment. Real quick right here, trying to create same base in every case with these two substitution and cube equation. The main difficulties I think you will you had with with cube equation because there are a lot of methods, there are a lot of approaches. Maybe you don't understand my approach. I try to solve it because I see real quick that t equal to five is our root right here. So we can easily factor this t minus five. Of course, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your for your support i really appreciate it leave like write any comment it helps me a lot it inspires me a lot to make a new mass mass content it, it, it's really important for me to to share your really interesting problem make report to your to your friends it helps me a lot and i see that you need this content and it's it's important for you it's real kind from you that you support my channel and write comments leave a like it's not hard to you but it's really important for me and Thank you for everything. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos.